I hear all the birds. I'll never ever get over the sounds of the birds here in New Zealand, especially in the morning. Good morning, little one. Good morning, bigger one. It's early. Yeah, I know. It's like 5.30. No, it's not. It was like 10 minutes ago before you started vlogging. No, I woke up at 5.30. It's past 6 now. It's still early for us, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. It's actually... 6 10 a.m. I was up at 5 already working I got up and like went straight to work that's kind of how it is these days with being on different time zones I work a lot still with people in the US of course and so um, I am always calculating the time differences. Right when I wake up, I'm like, okay, what time is it there? Okay, and then I'll check my emails. Everybody's already been working for like half a day in LA by the time I wake up, so there's immediately stuff to respond to. And uh, so today I'm getting up a video that is a sponsored job and then also a TikTok, which I never normally have two going up the same day. So there's just a lot of stuff going on, so I've just been up super early, sitting by the fire with Lonky. Made some coffee, and it's an early start to the morning. I haven't been waking up this early lately, but this morning I knew that there was so much to do, and we were in bed by 7 p.m. <laughs> Alex was reading, I just ended up passing out, and so I got amazing sleep last night. Normally, lately I've been waking up with a bit of a neck ache. I don't know why I had been sleeping wrong on it, but I finally woke up this morning feeling refreshed, so good, no neck ache. Didn't wake up one time last night while I was sleeping, and I'm feeling good this morning. And I'm getting little cuddles and kisses from this one, so can't complain. It's a good start to the morning. Frozen blueberries are the key to all smoothies, in my opinion. Spinach. Yum. Some kefir. It is probiotic yogurt. I showed you guys this in my grocery haul. Do some water to make it a little bit more liquidy. Little scoop of maca for women that much. I got the banana. I have banana in here. I think Alex wanted me to make banana bread with this banana. <laughs> so I don't think banana bread's gonna happen this time because we went through all the bananas. All right, let's try this again. Keeping it simple with an avo toast this morning. I like the chili flakes. Where are those? Chili flakes. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. I think that's good. And then I'm gonna grab some of Alex's famous coleslaw. Yum. 
colorful breakfast. It's a gorgeous day today. We have been cleaning up for probably like the last like 30 minutes. We vacuumed in the kitchen, we cleaned all the countertops and pillowcases, got rid of dog hair, cleaned around the fireplace because just soot and dust gets all around that when you're lighting it every evening. We are currently in a three day lockdown here in New Zealand, which is interesting because those of you who aren't from New Zealand and may or may not know, New Zealand hasn't really experienced COVID the way the rest of the world has. We've essentially been living life as normal here in New Zealand, meaning like, of course, New Zealand knows what's happening in the world. And there have been some cases over the last six months. I think there's been one case in Auckland and there was a lockdown just in Auckland. So Auckland's the biggest city in New Zealand and then the rest of the country, right? So right now the rest of the country is in a three day lockdown. Auckland's in a seven day lockdown because all of the cases that they've found, which today seems like there's about 22 cases, are all out of Auckland. That's the biggest city. That's where we did our managed isolation when we first came into the country. And that's another way that New Zealand has been able to keep COVID out and has been able to live life, you know, pretty much normal. <laughs> And I'm comparing this to coming from LA where every decision you made, every single moment of every day, you were making decisions based off of the virus because it was wreaking havoc on the entire city. Coming here, it hasn't had that effect and it hasn't had that effect because the country came together and was able to stamp it out really early on by having a intense lockdown when it first happened. and. They've also been doing the border control, the managed isolation. So any citizens that come into New Zealand who have been traveling or out of the country have to do a managed isolation. That's what Alex and I did because he's a citizen here. We were able to book managed isolation. It took a long time to get a booking, but we were able to do it and we did our 14 days back in January. And it's a really great system. I personally, think that the way that New Zealand has handled all this is pretty commendable and just honestly it's to me I'm like three days of lockdown no problem at all if they extend it even no problem at all because it's just been honestly really nice to be living in a country where you feel so much more you just I just feel so much more safe from the virus um and secure just because it's not as intense here at all and the country you know people still like shake hands and hug like because they haven't been affected the way that we have in the u.s um with the virus so right now auckland the biggest city in new zealand is locked down for seven days and the rest of the country which includes us is locked down for three days this is the third day of our lockdown so we find out this afternoon which is probably in about like five or six, seven hours or something like that, if we are going to have it extended. I know all of the cases so far have been confirmed out of Auckland, so I don't know if anything's changed or what it will look like, but we're happy to just chill and see how it goes. It'll be interesting to see if it affects our move-in date because we're supposed to move in about a week and a half. So if it's extended past beyond that and kind of I don't know exactly how all of that's going to look um, moving forward. So hopefully it doesn't affect our move-in date. We can just get over to the homestead and start doing what we need to do. And we can still make those appointments that I booked, that you guys saw me book in a previous vlog. But we shall see. And we just kind of have to roll with the punches, take it all day by day. The next thing on my list today is I'm going to tape up some boxes and start putting stuff in them. I'm just going to begin the process because we're out of here, like I said, in a week and a half. And we have some items that, you know, we've purchased over the last eight months or some things that were in our suitcases that we want to pack up to bring on over to the house. So we didn't get a lot of boxes. I got eight medium boxes like you guys saw in my last vlog. I was getting them at Mitre 10 and I realized that the 
medium size here in New Zealand is very different from the medium size boxes in the US once I opened them up and we got home. So I probably should have got a large here or like an extra large. I got eight boxes, so I'm just crossing my fingers that'll be okay. We don't have that much stuff. We have made some progress. I have two boxes here right now. Everything's just pretty random with what's in there. I also just took everything out of here, cleaned each surface layer, and then added everything back in again and organized it. So we've got seasonings more seasonings and then bottles of like vinegar, balsamic vinegar. And then I lined up all these seasonings together so that you could see what they actually are. The goal is to just get this place feeling like an Airbnb because family comes here a lot and just stays the weekend to enjoy it. So when we move out, family will start to do that again and we wanna leave it sparkling clean. Let's go check on Alex. I'm pretty sure he is at the caravan right now doing some vacuuming. I'm pretty excited to be back in this little thing again. It's so cute. I want to do a lot of traveling in this baby this spring and summer. I want to get back in it. How are things going in here? Good, just vacuumed. Vacuumed, okay. Found a pair of Warby Parker glasses that <gasps> would have been good for you. Oh, my glasses. I could not find these glasses for the longest time. I just got myself some new glasses. <laughs> and they're the ones that I'm wearing, but they've been in the caravan this entire time. It's okay though. It's okay, I'm making myself feel better about it because having two pairs of glasses is better than one because this happens. You misplace one every once in a while. So there we go, now I have two. I kinda miss these glasses actually. All of this work around the house and packing boxes and everything is making me very hungry. We are going to make some wraps. I have to lean over here right now because I've got some boxes full of stuff here, which is always good. We're, we're making progress here. So I have to lean over them, but it actually works out so that you can actually see me in the frame. So I am going to cut this lemon and I'm gonna squeeze some lemon onto the chickpeas here that I just washed and drained and I'm pulling the little seeds out of the lemon just to give the chickpeas a nice little taste. I think I'll add probably some seasoning on there too. Maybe we'll do a little paprika. And do paprika, salt, and pepper. Let's just keep it, let's keep it simple. All right, this box needs to slightly move. So I've done the chickpea seasoning like I showed you guys, and then I grabbed some cucumber. I'm gonna dice some cucumber. And whatever we don't put into the wrap right now, we will just keep as a salad. And we'll just maybe have it for dinner or have it tomorrow for lunch. We're all about cooking efficiently throughout the week. Whenever we have extras of anything, we sometimes just tend to cook it up right in that moment and keep it for leftovers the next day. Because when you're working throughout the week, it's so nice to just open the fridge and see something that you could just warm up or if you have a salad already made, something you can just throw on a plate. Just looking out for your future self because your future self is probably going to be busy and your future self is going to thank your past self for taking care of the food the day before. We are waiting to hear the live stream about whether or not we are locked down for longer. I'm adding in some yogurt. A little bit of dukkha for some Moroccan flavor. A little bit of this coconut amino. We're almost out of it. So healthy for you though. So that is what the gorgeous like yogurt salad looks like. I'm just going to 
to grab this, throw it on the wraps. I like this spoon because it allows all the extra juices to fall out the bottom because it has some holes, but it's kind of nice to have some juice in there, so. Juicy wrap. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna add some spinach as well, so we have some fresh lettuce and some feta. We've got some goat's milk feta, which is really delicious. I'm just going to do a touch of this organic vegan garlic aioli, just to give it a little bit of like a nice little garlicky taste. So on that basis, the Director General of Health has recommended and Cabinet has agreed to keep all of New Zealand at level four until 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday, August 24, with a Cabinet meeting on Monday for us to determine the next steps thereafter. Going to Tuesday is a full seven days from our first case returning a positive result and gives us that extra time I mentioned that we believe we need. It's much better to assure ourselves now that there aren't further cases in the rest of the country than allowing the virus to spread easily at a lower alert level. And we've all seen what happens when you take that path. But we need to use this time wisely too. And so here is our ask of the team of 5 million. Number one, please check the locations of interest. And if you were there at the time and date set out, then get a test. I would put emphasis on there at the time and date um, because there is a level of specificity in our locations of interest and we don't want people having to get tested because they were there the day prior or even hours prior. So we are in lockdown for four more days here in New Zealand. There are 30 cases, they said? 31 cases? I can't. Yeah, 31 community cases of COVID in Auckland and Wellington, which are on opposite sides of the North Island, but they're saying that they've reached contacts of these people and some of them have gone all the way to the South Island, which is, yeah, essentially the entire country. So they're just wanting to keep us all locked down till the 24th, which honestly, I feel more comfortable with that anyways. Like I'd rather us do that and everybody be in their bubbles instead of us releasing too early and then it just spreads more. I think that making sure people are safe first and foremost is the important part. So we're gonna be locked down for four more days, but it's okay. Also that wrap was delicious. We were both like, oh, so good. So. If you feel like having a wrap for lunch or anything, I highly recommend making it. One of the best feelings ever in the world. Fresh out of the shower, putting on the comfiest clothes possible. <laughs> Pardon the pile of laundry all over the bed. This all needs to go away. I actually think we're just gonna fold that stuff up and put it in suitcases because we've got to get it out of here. But we're just gonna like take fresh batches of laundry and just start folding them and putting them in suitcases. So that's the plan. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming. Golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Oh my goodness, Alex took it upon himself to just go for it. And that looks so good. Creamy chicken and mushroom pasta with butter sauteed onions, garlic, 
mushrooms, and olives. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready for it. Mm -hmm.